Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last session it has been exam week at school. We haven't got our results yet but I think we did pretty well and uh, we are we are getting we are getting somewhat close I guess to the Tartarus trip. We are at the new moon so we are halfway between the full moons so it won't be too long now. Uh, and yeah, we are we are carrying on through the days. So, what is available to us tonight? We have Mutatsu, which I think is his final link. But we also have Ken. I don't think I'm ever going to use Ken in Tartarus, but I do kind of want to see his scenes. So, I guess we should do Ken. I know this is kind of coming out of nowhere, but, um, would you like some coffee right now? Not the instant stuff, but with properly ground beans and all that. I saw someone prepare coffee on a show, and I wanted to try doing it myself. Amada asked me to join him for coffee. Should I spend the evening with him? Itadori-san, if you don't mind, could you maybe be my taste tester? Sure. Oh, great. Okay, I'll get started right away. Ugh, the inside of my mouth still tastes all... I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. The one from Brazil is very smooth, while the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full-bodied. Where's today's from? Oh, um, it's called a value pack blend. I bought it at the supermarket. Amazing. Does the quality of the beans really affect the flavor that much? Maybe I'll try some better ones next time. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite, but they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up, too. Yeah, you better be. Please, take the leftovers with you. I didn't Although, make this fucking mess. You might not necessarily <laughs> like it. Okay, coffee. SP, nice. Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sips. Well, hey, we don't uh, always get what we want, do we, Ken? I'd prefer if Shinji was alive. That, it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much, so... And you seem like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee. Like from a cafe. I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> well then, good night. You may not have pulled the trigger on him, you motherfucker, but you were the reason he was there, away from the group, able to be killed by Takaya. So fuck you, Ken. <laughs> hey, the exam's results are up. I don't know if that's a fair take. Is that a fair take? Like, obviously, Ken isn't literally the person that killed Shinji, but he, he called him there with the intention of killing him, and by him being there, that's why he died. Because if he wasn't called there, then he would have been with the group defeating the the major Arcana Shadow, and Sakaya probably wouldn't have been able to kill him when he was part of a part of the whole Seas group like that. So you know, it is kind of Ken's fault. <laughs> I feel like that, that's uh, I feel like that's not going to be a take people like, but fuck Ken. <laughs> How did we do? I scored the highest in my grade! Yay! Everyone's looking at me with respect. Like the Giga Chad that I am. Come to think of it, Mitsuru promised to give me a gift if I scored well. Oh right, I forgot about the uh, <laughs> the gift Mitsuru gives us every time. God damn, we're going all the way this time. Lunchtime's almost over, I should get back to class. it becomes this. Then round up like this and the answer is x equals 1. Hmm, it isn't. Oh, I see. This becomes 11. So, x equals 2. Hang on, what? Okay, uh, your assignment is to figure this one out. <laughs> anyway, wasn't that fun? Numbers are so interesting. Even with a difficult problem like this one, once it's solved, it becomes such a simple concept. Our entire reality is made up of numbers. Civilization owes its very existence to math. All right, Itadori-kun, you seem like a math fan. Here's a question for you. We use the number zero a lot. Do you know where it originally came from, though? 
Uh, I actually don't. If I had to guess, I'd guess Rome? Nope, India, okay. That's right, you really must be a math fan. I fucking hated math in school. Oh my god. Despised maths. The worst. The worst. Isn't it fascinating how someone just up and conceived the concept of emptiness one day? Yeah, I was uh, much more of a uh, like Engli English literature, English language type person than a maths type person. <laughs> Plus, with the birth of the zero, all of mathematics took an enormous leap forward. Ah, the beauty and wonder of it all. Math is magnificent. I answered correctly. I guess it doesn't matter if I answer these correctly or not now that I'm maxed. I guess I could just spam an answer because <laughs> it makes no difference. I was happy with my score. All that studying I did during summer vacation paid off. What a relief. I didn't do too badly. My scores will never go up if I don't take things more seriously. I'm going to study as soon as I get home. No Junpei? I want to know how Junpei did. So, is Mitsuru going to be available at all? I wonder when Mitsuru becomes available, because we have it maxed now. Um, wait, was Fuka available? Fuka is available and Yukari is available. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. You're level 4, I think Fuka's level 3 now? I wonder if I'm... Because I keep thinking that Fuka's available less, and so I should do her when she is available. But maybe maybe that's just wrong. I don't know. It's possible that that is just wrong. Let's keep them fairly even, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I need to... almost forgot. Almost forgot. I need to go do... Oh, hey, Mitsuru's got something to say. Maybe, maybe... No, it would have said on the town map thing if I could start her, right? Oh, oh Itadori. I s oh, right, it's this. I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. Excellent. It's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our... <laughs> extracurricular activities. Oh, shit. Okay. Power Incense 3. I guess we'll enjoy that. Magic Incense 3. Mitsuru will enjoy that. Speed Incense 3. Dunno. Guard Incense 3. Dunno. Uh, since I placed at the top of exams, I also got the Pendant of Unity. What, pray tell, is the Pendant of Unity? Shift boost. Raises attack when re when receiving a shift. Okay. Don't give a fuck. Bam. 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 Agility plus five is pretty good. Um. So I gave you the magic talisman. What was that? That was 50 SP. I'm keeping that on you. You've got Ice Boost, was it? Yeah. Probably best to keep that on you. And what does Igus have? Uh, Regenerate 3, right. So do I want to... I guess I don't want to change any of those. Magic we're giving to Mitsuru. That will take her to 44. All oh, right, let's look at everyone's agility. So yours is 30. Uh, Yukari is 40. I guess is 27. Okay, maybe we do I guess then. Bring her up a bit. Uh, and then what was the other one? Endurance. Uh, Yukari is 37. 
Mitsuru is 30. Okay, it's probably Mitsuru then, because I guess it's pretty good, right? Oh yeah, I guess it's fine. Okay, so Mitsuru gets the endurance, I guess gets the speed. So, uh, Magic Incense, Mitsuru, yes. Uh, Guard Incense... I said Mitsuru, right? Power Incense, that goes to Igis. And Speed Incense, also Igis. Nice. Cool. The OK Coffee from Ken gives 100 SP. Alright, Ken. Never mind, always liked you. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. You definitely didn't fucking cause Shinji to die. Nah. Certainly not. Right, can we get this fucking helmet, please? For the love of fuck. Whoa. Oh my god, it's you again. Wow, how is it already so late? My darling's not home today and I'm so lonely. Maybe I'll fuck a student. Maybe I'll have dinner with Ms. Turiyumi. Oh, wait. Wait, this is a different person. Wait. <laughs> I just got bamboozled. This isn't, this isn't Maya. Am I crazy? Do they look similar? Never mind. <laughs> For some reason I thought this was Maya. Oh god. I'm already trying to PTSD her out of my memory what she looks like. We could go to that restaurant with the interesting game. What was it called again? A mahjong parlor? I hope I don't lose again, but I don't think there's any way I can win against Miss Toriyumi. Hi. How are you? She isn't here. I, I wasn't asking her. I was just about to look for her myself. Do you play Mahjong? It's very intriguing. No, I do not. If I play too much, I can't stop thinking about them for days. I've said that stuff even in my sleep. My poor darling hasn't slept very well as a result. Shall I teach you the other technical terms? Please don't. Please, please don't. I truly don't care. Just give me the helmet, motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, I'm not here to learn about Mahjong. Oh my god. Get good, I guess. Okie dokie. Let's do Fuka. Keep him even. Oh, it's a Dorican. Looks like we're finally done with exams. We made it to the end. Uh, hopefully that relieves some stress at school for a while. Oh, by the way, if you're leaving now, would you like to go shopping with me? Shopping? Thank you. Let's head to Paolonia Mall. Sorry for taking so long. I wanted to buy something to use as a secret ingredient in my cooking. Mm, but I couldn't really decide, and I wasn't sure how to use whatever I'd buy. Uh, start with the basics first. Yes, you're right. I haven't even gotten the basics down yet. I'm getting way too ahead of myself. First thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make. I'm still having a lot of trouble getting things right, but I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. Bro, let's not put yourself down like that. Uh, well, we're not going to say that, because that's just reinforcing her. A persona, that might be something she wants to hear, but also the persona isn't... That's not what she's talking about, right? She's talking about, like, real-life stuff, as opposed to, like, fucking, you know, Tartarus stuff. So, let's go with your hard worker. No, that's not true at all. I mean, everyone in our group works hard. That includes you. That I think you all have something that you're good at. Not me. I mean, I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it. It's honestly not worth mentioning. Bro, we were really, fucked with Mitsuru as navigator. Like them. She couldn't it's fucking not exactly get a signal up to us after about. like 20 floors. <laughs> when I was little, 
I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound on one side. I've always loved watching him work on those things. That's probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. But I don't think that would be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirijo group support. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine Oh, hobby. who cares about that? That's not true. Later. Thank you. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? Fuck having hobbies that are seen as like, oh, you can only do like this hobby if you're a girl. If you're a dude and you like this hobby, well, that's just strange. It's like, Actually, man, just like what you like, you know? A lot to you in that sense. I think Fuka trusts me now. Seems to have grown closer. Thanks. Oh, it's getting late. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk so much. Let's go home. Fuka and I went back to the dorm together. Pog. Very nice, very nice. Bow, bow, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Oh, welcome back. Your exams are over, right? If you decide to go to Tartarus, I want to go too, so that I can sit in the fucking foyer the entire time. I promise I'll do everything I can in the foyer. I'll be fighting for him too, by standing in the foyer. <laughs> Bro said, I'll be fighting for him too. Motherfucker. The reason he's dead. The secondary reason. Primary reason being Takaya shooting him with a gun. Secondary reason, you calling him there to kill him yourself. Woo. No Fs. Now I don't have to go to Aragaki-san's grave and tell him I failed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I performed satisfactorily in the chemistry and mathematics, but I performed poorly in other subjects. But since I specialize in combat, these results are not unexpected. Um, um. Have you seen the exam results? Mine actually weren't as bad as I thought they'd be, but I feel like I could have done much better. It made me realize that I'm still stewing over all sorts of things. I have to keep it together. Okay. Well, the exam results have been posted. Now that we don't have that hanging over our heads anymore, let's focus on Tartarus. The next operation will be our last one, so let's put our all into preparing for it. She didn't tell me what her exam results were. I feel like if she did well, she'd be crying about it. So, I feel like Yukari may have shat the bed on these exams. Hmm. I guess San said she didn't do so well on her exams. Maybe some academic specs had to be sacrificed to make her over-specialized in combat. Huh. I guess robots have their own share of problems too, huh? Where's uh, Mitsuru and Akihiko? Are they upstairs? They have to be upstairs, right? Where's Mitsuru? We don't need that. Where's Akihiko? Bum, 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 bum. There is a new recording. Hello. <laughs> what gives that? What gives you that idea that it's Mitsuru's room, the room with Mitsuru in it? I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. You should keep doing well, that. I'm away from home, so it's no big deal, I suppose. In this fashion magazine. I thought I'd take a look after I saw Takeba purchasing one. 256 snazzy looks to knock the socks off of your BFFs. Get her look. Sweet but glam do's and don'ts. <sighs> what is this even saying? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. The Did I just... Essentials. Why doesn't no, everyone just I would use what the family stylist selects for them, you know? <laughs> Who doesn't have a family stylist? <laughs> Not that it would suit me anyway. I'm no Takeba. I should remember there's a difference between what appeals to me and what I can actually pull off. 
Bro, you could pull off a fucking bin bag. <sighs> Not good. I'm going to catch a cold. I should turn in. I have to be up early again tomorrow. Why have you got a fucking bin, like, just in the middle now, of the room like that? which pajamas shall I wear tonight? The birthday suit ones. The recording ends here. Nice. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Hello? Oh. I was just asking where Akihiko was. I think we've just found out. Ah, there you are. I've actually finished my shopping already. Do you have some time now? I want your help for something. Should I spend the evening with Sonata? Yes. I owe you one. Thanks. But let's head back to the dorm together. Ah, crap. I forgot to buy eggs. Sorry, but can you go back first and make sure no one uses the kitchen? I'll meet you there in a bit. Don't worry, I won't keep you waiting long. I'm quicker on my feet than you are, you know. Looks like Sonata isn't here yet. Sorry I'm late. I ran into some unexpected trouble. All right, here goes. Back me up, would you? I'm gonna make pancakes. Think you can help? I guess you could say I've got a craving. I used to eat them all the time at the orphanage. I know they sell frozen Delicious ones nowadays. Delicious pancakes. But nothing beats freshly cooked, right? You're making a lot. Think so? I just thought more would be better than less. True. Not well, as. Let's go on and get started. Okay. Uh, first things first. Uh, what exactly do we do first? Uh, I, I think the recipe said to use lots of butter and to regulate the pan's temperature with a damp washcloth. Wait, we put a washcloth in the pan? Won't it burn? Please, just let me handle it. You sure? <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how to cook anything besides the stuff I use for bodybuilding. I can break the eggs and make He showed us now how to cook a protein shake. Part to you. That's the extent of his cooking oh, ability. <laughs> so that's how you use the washcloth. How about we add some protein powder? Hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get the plates. Right. God damn, that's a lot of pancakes. Oh, check it out! Wow, look at all the pancakes! I knew something. There's absolutely this. no shot, but like 99% yeah, of minute. those wouldn't be cold we by now. <laughs> once I bring them out. Would you mind getting everyone else? They don't have enough room <laughs> to make more than a couple of pancakes at okay. once. So the fact that they've made like a hundred pancakes there, that means like 90 of them are going to be like cold by the time that the last pancakes. ones are ready. <laughs> Two of you make all of these yourselves? Yeah. Although this guy was the one who cooked them. I said I had a hankering, but we might have made too much. I like pancakes, but no way I can eat all of these myself. If you guys could pitch in, that'd be great. So you like pancakes too, Sonata-san? Thank you. I can't wait to have some. I'll make some tea. I've got some leaves that'd be great for the occasion. It's pancake party time, as they say. Thanks for the pancakes. They were really good. Tasted like a lot of care went into them. If you ever make some again, I'd like to help out too. For as many as we made, they sure did disappear fast. Cooking's not really one of my strong points. A certain someone would always say, if you pour protein powder on the ingredients, then you shouldn't be in the kitchen, dumbass. Most of the time, I only ever got to watch someone else cook. So I never really learned myself. Anyways, thanks for helping out today. I'm hoping that cheered everyone up a little. It did. What made you want to do this? They did things like this back when I was at the orphanage. I just wanted to recreate it. My sister used to cry all the time there. But the pancakes always brought a smile to her face. Hm. 
Do you remember that medal you found in the package from my parents? My sister, Miki. She made that back when we were at the orphanage. Based on the letter that came with it, I guess my parents found it when they were cleaning. Miki was gonna give that to me after we learned I was getting adopted out and leaving. But then that fire happened right after. And this medal was all that was left of her. Damn. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Apparently, Miki used to always say she wanted to thank me for being so strong and kind. She was really quiet, and she'd always be following me around. I don't really remember doing anything special for her, but I guess she was relying on me as her older brother. Seeing that medal made me think, would my sister be proud of who I am now? Am I really strong and kind enough to deserve that medal? If I'm being honest, I don't really know what it means to be strong or kind. Everyone who's ever said that to me has left without telling me the most important part. You saw how I was today. This is all I'm capable of right now. I haven't grown at all since I was a kid. <laughs> They'd laugh if they saw me now. That's not true. Maybe my sister would say that. But you know not everyone would cut me that much slack. I realized I'd just been running away all this time. Making excuses about having my own problems. But from now on, I'm gonna protect it all. We promised we'd become strong together. I won't let him down. I'll help whenever you need. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate that. I'll be counting on you next time. <laughs> the point of this whole thing was to cheer everyone up. And yet I'm the one getting supported here, you know? I think you're the kind of person my sister would have looked up to. All right, that's enough talking about the past. Let's hurry up and finish clean. <clears throat> What's wrong? Well, <clears throat> I ran into that group of punks on my way home oh. from shopping today. There were even more from this time. And one guy managed to get a good hit in. Don't worry, though. I didn't do anything that would get me in trouble with the police. I just let them throw as many punches as they wanted until they got tired and gave up. I thought I could dodge them all, but uh, <laughs> I guess I've still got room to improve. Can we beat the shit out of those fuckers? I finished cleaning up with Sonata and then went back to my room. Felt like my charm was improved. I think Akihiko probably has the best VA in the game. I really like Akihiko's VA. Tuesday the 20th. Alright, time for class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Surely. Just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Why are we watching Fuka's class right now? Hey, are you all listening to me? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. What's bothering you? It's just... Aragaki senpai Oh. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but... He'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just... Gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around. That nothing would ever change. But... Some things you can never get back. I didn't consider how easily it could happen. Once I realized that... I started thinking about my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but... Is it okay for me to leave things with them like this? Parents, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. But I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Moriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? What's going on? Goodbye. Uh, 
Um, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after Damn. I transfer. Poor Fuka. Thank you all. How's that? Uh, wait, transfer? What? That is fucked that she didn't tell Fuka that, like, in advance. You're a weird one, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed. And they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. <sighs> You know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. That's Kichan. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like right here? Huh? Well, um, if you don't want to say, that's okay. Clearly, something was I'm not sure good with the parents. Reasons. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart to heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka. I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but you don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. <sighs> I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... <laughs> You're taking I an entire week goodbye. to pack? What? No! <laughs> Don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. <sighs> come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm going to try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. <laughs> I've discovered it. It's more it. bullying. It's <laughs> Well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. Just like me. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What I want, I... I used to try and please everyone just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked, so I always went along with the people around me. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them. But real, I like you, Fuka. Even if you hate yourself. Kichan. Well, I better get going. Does Fuka hate herself? I never got a hate herself vibe from her. She's definitely like giga timid and just sort of went along with what everyone else said. Even if we're apart, we're still bit of a doormat, you know. But I never got like a always talk. Hate herself vibe. Thanks for being my friend. I'm. Kind of tearing up now. Aww. Natsuki chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I get it now, Natsuki chan. I'd always assumed my powers were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me, and that's why my powers let me see others. Hmm. There is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together. 
makes me so happy. So, I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people, even when they're apart. Time for your I persona to evolve, I'm thinking. This amazing gift. The friendship I've always wanted. This speech is giving me evolution vibes. Yep. Wait, are we going to lose the ability to stand inside the persona? Please still be a stand inside one. Okay, it is. Good. Good, good, good. I really love that aspect of her persona. I don't know why. It's just such a unique thing that she's the persona like envelops around her. It's really cool. The resolution in Fuga's heart has awakened a new persona. Fuga's persona, Lucia, has given rise to Juno. Ding. Revelation grants one random enhanced positive effect to all allies. Cool. There you are. Oh, what are you all doing here? It is unusual is this to the find you up on the rooftop. Is this the first time we've ever seen this many people of the team together in school? I feel like, despite us all going to school, I feel like we almost never see us all together like this. Or almost all together. Obviously, Mitsuru and Akihiko on here, but, like, I feel like it's, it just hasn't really happened that we've had a large number of the group together at school. Well, we didn't see you around, so we weren't sure if you were alright. I think I figured it out. Okay... I've made up my mind. I'm going to do everything I can with the power I've been given. This is what I've decided I want to do. Um, sure? <laughs> sure? <laughs> I guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh, you sure you're all right? <laughs> cool. Bars has ended for the day. This is questionable. Fuka-san said she figured it out. What do you think, Makoto-san? I understand her. Affirmative. That's good to hear. Hey. Dude, the mall sucks. I was trying to pick up this girl, but some cop kept staring at me like he meant business. Finally. I haven't seen Junpei here for ages, it feels like. Hey, I just heard that Moriyama's transferring. You know, the girl who's friends with Fuka? They haven't been friends for very long, though. Kinda sucks. Oh, row at the back as well. Exams suck, man. People completely forget about that guy Aragaki now that they're studying. Or maybe they never cared about his death in the first place. Yeah, it's probably that one, unfortunately. He did not really make many friends. Um, right, so... Miyamoto's available, Hiraga's available. Hmm, I guess Miyamoto, probably? Is Miyamoto level 9? No, he's level 8. Okay, do we have Chariot? Uh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, Hiraga... Who is Hiraga again? I'm trying to remember, was Hiraga Fortune? Yes, okay. Uh, do I have a Fortune one? Son of a bitch! God damn it. God damn it. actually fucking remember to do this before we go in this time. Um, okay, well, Star's not going to happen much, so let's release you. Priestess and Lovers we want to keep, because they'll be happening quite commonly. Uh, I guess Moon won't be happening much either now. Do I, oops, do I actually want you, though? Are you one I want to keep for combat, or? Uh, right, you do have good electricity stuff. Like 
You're my cheap wind and cheap ice. Do do do. Hmm. There's no one I really want to get rid of at this point. <laughs> Would I even use you? You have Agidine, but like it's 12 SP. I'm not going to be doing Agidine much. You do have these two, though. Those are very useful. I am going to have to make these decisions soon because it is almost time to go back into Tartarus. So you, I'm obviously keeping. You know what? You've got. You've got good lightning stuff. You've got lightning, light, and one almighty. You're a more expensive dark person. Oh, you're my spirit drain, right? I forgot about that. Yeah, so I definitely am keeping you. You are all right. Who has more strength between you two? I could probably get rid of you then. Probably could get rid of you. Although you are good at critting, apparently. You're my cheap stuff. You're better wind. You're my cheap dark and poison. Your status effects. I've got light dark, I've got wind lightning, I've got fire, I've got ice. Wait, you're level 5. No, you're, le you're level 52. Yeah, you're my ice person now, yeah. Do I have a good fire? I guess I... Well, that's... That's... Meh. Huh, I guess I don't have a good fire person anymore, apart from you. Hmm. I guess I would need to get a good fire person out. Didn't I have a good fire person? I thought I did. Did I get rid of them? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Shit. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum. Well, whatever. For now, let's just get chariot, I guess, and we'll see how it goes. I'm looking for. How may I assist you? Anything we need to register? Nope. This is your progress so far. This so you'll be summoning this very well. It's yours. Very well. We look for. <laughs> Right. Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot. Last time I was hanging out at the strip mall, I saw a dude with wild fashion sense. Long wavy hair, no shirt, and tattoos all up and down his arms. I knew it might be unseasonably warm, but he kind of went overboard. But hey, maybe it's cool to let your freak flag fly. If I was more like him, not giving a rip what people will think, I wouldn't have a care in the world. Oh my god, he's finally here. Oh my fucking Christ. Ah, Itadori, I've been waiting for you. Okay, not really. I looked and looked, but there's nothing at my house that's not related to Masamune. This didn't belong to Masamune personally, but it still has ties to him, so... Do you really need this? Maybe you've reconsidered? Not that I'm reluctant at all to give it to you, of course. So I'll give it to you, but... but... You'll take good care of it, right? It'll become a family heirloom, right? Glad to hear it. You must be proud, Itadori. You've got a family heirloom now. Yeah, I guess this is how it should be. Well, I've still got a few of those left at home. 
This is the second time I've given a helm to a student after all. That BB. Do you know him? He's an exchange student in my class. Back in the spring, when he first came here, he admired it so much that I let him have it. It does my heart good to see the samurai spirit is still alive in you kids, even those from a foreign country. It must be because the glorious lives of the Sengoku generals transcend history. Masamune Date, for example. The amazing thing about him is that he... I enjoyed, just kidding, even more stories about Masamune. I have a deeper understanding of history. I managed to obtain a helm from Mr. Ono. Holy shit, at long last. Holy fuck. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. I see. So this is it. The helm from the ancient Sengoku era. The heft, the texture, the character for love on the brow. Does that love protect the head? Or is it love for the helm? How splendid. Mysteries upon mysteries. Still, it is a wonderful helm. This satisfies my request. Why don't you take the helm with you? I believe it suits you far better than it does me. Please take this. Clap. Alright, let's go do this. This will get us to rank 9. Exams are finally over. Now we can just focus on practice. Oh yeah, you up for some running, Itadori? Let's head on down to the track. <laughs> well, I can't push myself too hard, but at the very least, I gotta be there to support you. Everybody, gather round. Now, you've probably all heard already, but... Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Right, let's go with Miyamoto. Sorry I needed your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? Uh, what does he want to hear? Maybe this one? Yeah. Maybe, but... I've realized that being tough isn't always the answer. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. It must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. This all hit me on our walk over here with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden, will you? I'm not going to hide anything from you. So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. Miyamoto really cares about me a lot. I feel like we're becoming closer. Rank 9. I feel guilty for making the whole team worry. But first, I have to win at the regionals no matter what. For their sake, too. Finished eating and walked home. Okie dokie. Um, um, hey. So, Natsuki chan is moving away. I'm honestly really depressed about it. But I also know that no matter the distance, she'll always be right here with me. Nothing can come between the bond we share. So, I'll be alright. Aww. Way. How were your results for the exams? Mine were the usual. Well, we can't be wasting time worrying about exam results right now. Our priority should be to train as much as we can for the final battle. Yeah. Final. Yeah. 
I guess we're doing Junpei tonight. Looks like there's only edu educational manga here. Man, I wish they had some shonen stuff. Ah oh, well, at least they have that one I borrowed from what's his name? Yo, you want to read it too? It's this baseball manga that finished up a while back. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. This one's pretty old, so the art's got a retro feel to it. Guess it's supposed to feel nostalgic, right? The main character's got thick seaweed eyebrows. Hey, what do you think of these old classics? They're timeless masterpieces. Whoa, dropping some wisdom. I hear you then. The best manga know exactly how to light a fire in your heart. Oh crap, gotta keep going. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs, bases loaded, and a home run will change it all. Oh, the hero's in a real pickle. Hey, you better read faster or else I'm gonna spoil it for you. Damn, this is where it ends? I should have borrowed more volumes. It gets even crazier than this if I remember right. Man, the main character's rival? What the fuck is on Junpei's leg? Is that just the light hitting it in a really weird way or something? It doesn't look like a light reflection. It looks like he's just spilled like a whole shitload of chocolate over his leg and it's melted onto its leg or something. <laughs> I don't know. That looks weird. The young hero's dedication filled me with courage. I'll borrow the rest of them so we can pick it up next time. Well, I'm gonna hit the hay. Wednesday the 21st.